Hey guys, welcome back to Tammy Legends once again. Thank you for stopping by. So, it's um, my TRF201 again. So, if you've been following this, um, I did the unboxing of it and um, I did a little video just finishing this shell off and wing that it came with. But this was always going to have a new shell and it's arrived from Craig from the UK who paints my shells and it's absolutely magnificent um but i have been waiting i've had the, the painted shells been here about three weeks but i've been waiting for my trf 201 decals to turn up um and they're not here yet but i can't sit any longer with this new shell <laughs> look at that and wing just look at that so as i said this is not a tamia shell now i'll probably pronounce this wrong these shells are made by Team Azarishi. Azarishi? Probably not pronounced that correctly at all. But um, yeah, this is their TRF201 shell. Um, as you can see, it's completely different. Apparently, it gives you more room to fit for your electrics. Um, but I just love, I love how it looks. Um, I believe this, this shell is called the um, Kayak. Um, I'll, I'll put that in the description um, with the correct spelling um, but uh, yeah I sourced this shell um, from a company in the UK and got it sent to Craig um, unfortunately at the time they didn't have they do two wings for this shell I wasn't a massive lover of them but I would have got it but um, they do a, a wide one and a narrow one and they only had the narrow in stock so um, I didn't want that one so I got the um, I got this from Penguin Penguin in, and Steve from Steve in the UK um, check out penguin body shells absolutely superb this is called a rock hopper wing um, and I really like it it's it's similar similar ish um, to the standard 201 but it's got it's, it's just a better shape in my opinion um, so yeah we're good to go um, before we get into that I've also got a brand new set of rear wheels for it because it's got the wrong ones fitted brand new set of jewel box tires for them and um, some um, MCI TRF decals have just turned up five minutes ago. Um, I got sick of buying genuine Tamiya ones and getting absolute, getting my pants pulled down by suppliers charging just ridiculous amounts of shipping. Um, so anyway, MCI is now doing these and it's almost like a double sheet. So I'm, yeah, I'm gonna use this, this set on this car. So before we get into it, I also want to fit the the brand new gear cover on it as well, um, and I think I want. I, I, I think I'm going to see if I can take the three body posts off of this car, um, so it's Velcro only. That's what I want to do. This is Velcro as well on this particular one, but I don't want to put any holes in this shell. So let's. Uh, I've been itching to do this one for so long. Just have this car finished on the shelf with my other TRF cars. So um, yeah, let's drag the camera over and um, what we'll do is we'll take the wheels the wheels off this, whiz the body off and we'll um, we'll have a look at this gearbox cover first and then we'll have a look at the body mounts and uh, we'll go from there. Right, so we've got it all apart. Now, um, the two rear body mounts uh, are just on a single screw so they're dead easy to take off. But the front one um, at the moment looks like it's, it's molded onto this front plate. So I guess I will put that one hole in the body because what it'll do is it'll locate it in the correct position and then we'll, um, we'll run the Velcro around the shell um, to match what it's got on already. So yeah, and when I come to run it, I may well want to put these mounts back on and uh, put the holes in. But I think right now we'll just go with that one hole. So before we get into that, um, let me dig out. I've got a brand new gearbox um, cover for it. So I just need to dig those parts out. Right, so got as I said, brand new gear cover to go on. Um, got the parts tree for the um, the little cover that goes onto um, the gear cover, so you can get into the slipper clutch. And the two screws are already in the gearbox. So um, let's get these cut off the part trees and get it mounted. Boom! Simple as that. That was very easy. Um, so that's that finished off now. Nice. So I'll whiz these two um, body mounts, body posts, mounts, whatever you call them. I'll take them off 
and then we'll stick a hole in the front of a new shell. I will just check that the hole's in the right position and then we can start um, getting that new stuff mounted. Boom! So, yeah, all I did was, as I said, put that little hole down in the front. That's got a really tight fit now, which is awesome. And then the shell itself runs, um, sits on a little bit on here on the rear tower. But, um, yeah, oops, it's just ready for Velcro in, as you can see. So, before I put the Velcro on, um, I'll probably do that job last. Now, the original 2.0 wing, 2.01 wing, has the cutouts of the shocks because it sits, get on, get on, it sits quite far forward, whereas I don't want that. I want to make it look a little bit longer with this. So I'm going to mount it sort of there-ish. Um, so let's get this spoil this wing marked up now and then we can uh, we get it mounted god i'm excited right that's the wing on um very happy with that looks great probably could do with a little bit of foam underneath just to um tighten it up but i suppose it wants to be a little bit looser to be honest so yeah cool right what's next um probably should get a little bit of velcro on the body shell now and get that fitted no what we'll do is let's get the wheels and tires on it we'll do the, as i say we'll do the velcro last let's mount the body shell and um get the new um dual block tires on the wheels and let's get the wheels fitted onto it right i'll just jump back on because i had to show you it with shell on oh my word i am really liking this as i say it's very different from the standard um uh, 201 shell but um, it's stealthy and do you know what I really do like that has just given it a little bit of extra length at the back because I've put, I've put that wing further to the back right what I'm going to do now is actually I'm lying I'm going to um, start putting some decals on so we'll start with the basics because less is, less is kind of more with this car um, so we're going to get the basic Ta big large Tamiya down the side with the Tamiya Racing Factory. They have to go on the sides. I want to cut a Tamiya logo out um, to either go top or bottom. Uh, I'm not too sure which one yet. Um, wing wise, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'll probably just go with the basic TRF logo on the sides. Um, but we do need something here. But um, yeah, let's start putting a few decals on and see what it uh, see see if it's it, when it, as it starts taking shape. We'll have a better idea if we need to add any more. Right, so I've just taken or roughly cut the stickers out that I know are definitely going on. So that on this side here, there'll be one Tamiya with the World um, Champion team going above it. So that'll be either side. Um, a VG that goes on this blue section here on either side. What else is there? I've got that Tamiya badge, which will probably go either on the roof or at the front. Maybe the front, but we'll see. Um, and then we've got two of the wing side decals so we'll get them cut out and we'll get them fitted um, I'm still not sure what I'm going to do on the, on the main wing yet but let's get these little ones on first right so as I say I've put the basics on so we've got the, the Tamiya and the world championship decal on the side that's a must and it has to go there for me the VG has to go on either side which we've done uh, I put the Tamiya logo on the roof, which I like, a little TRF on the side. Um, and I'll probably leave it at that for now because when the 201 decals turn up, there's, I'm probably going to do something here or maybe up here with the 201. Um, but the 201 decals have to go on somewhere, so there's no point putting too much more on that right now. Um, the wing, we've put the sides on, very basic. But now I need to decide what we're going to put on here. Yeah, so if I just drag that sheet of decals over. Yeah, I'm a little bit unsure to be Again, don't want to go overboard, but I do think it doesn't look good blank. This, don't, don't get me wrong, I don't mean the paint job. The paint's superb, but it needs something there. So... We do have this large Tamiya Racing Factory decal, just not the TRF itself, just the writing, which could go on the back. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, what we could do is another one of these Tamiya logos and put it smack on in the middle there, so the stars will be um, P. 
pink it'll, the paint will come through it and maybe just a writing that's what we'll try I'll put one of those in the middle and we'll cut that writing out to put across the back and then we can have a look and see what we think okay so this is what I'm thinking I'll, I like this decal across the back obviously it's not on yet it'll look better when it's on but I like that going across the back um, I did want that in the middle so it's the pinks shining through it then I was thinking maybe that at the front but not sure or maybe take that away and just put the TRF across the pink we could also put that across the middle or move that right up underneath and put that in the middle yeah I'm not so sure now what's the best if I put the TRF right at the front which you will hardly see anyway that'll start this one this middle one will look great what do you think guys I mean we can take these off if it looks crap um, yeah I yeah let's go with that let's stick them down and we can as I say we can always take them off again right so that's what I finished up with so as I said I went oh my god is that back on straight mm, I might have to just peel off a bit it's not as straight as it should be um, but yeah I like that I like that and I think the TRF looks pretty good there actually um, obviously once it's on the car anyway that's what we'll do now let's let's bang both of these on the car and see what it looks like yeah I'm really liking that I've got to be honest really 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 liking that that looks superb probably look different once the wheels are on than that but um, yeah I think the wing works it's you know it's not we've not covered too much of the paint work up but um, yeah again do definitely want something here but obviously as I say that's going to be the 201 decals but I think for the initial look, yeah, I've got exactly what I wanted. I really like that. Right, now we'll bang the wheels and tyres on. Right, so I'll see you um, rear wheels and tyres on. I'm kind of regretting now not buying brand new fronts. But I need to tie, and the front tyres have got a bit of dirt on them. So I need to really give them a good clean. And I need to try um, clean the front wheels up slightly. It's got a little sort of bit of grounding dirt. But... Um, yeah not to worry right let's mount that shell boom yeah the, yeah i am very 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 happy with that i have to say that um i always get a bit worried when i go away from tamia you know like oh, it's a different shell although i've done my research i knew what it looked like but um you're just never that sure it's it's gonna work but um yeah i'm uh I'm loving that to be honest, I really am. That's a badass looking buggy. What do you think guys? Stick it in the comments. I know a lot of you guys are a bit sick of seeing me with doing the TRF colours and stuff, but you know this is a the 503 and the 201 had to be done in um Tamiya racing box art. Um for me anyway, that's just what I wanted. But um yeah, I'm I'm really happy with that. That's um that's pretty immense looking and to be honest I don't think it needs any more decals apart from possibly the two or ones at the front I think that'd be good enough and she's done what do you think again I know you guys a lot of you in the comments in the past have said you know enough with the TRF colors but I, I really enjoy them I've got to be honest um, it's it's a strong link to Tamiya these colors with their team drivers so it's I think they're kind of special and yeah maybe you don't want to do a super astute like I'm doing or maybe have done by the time you see this video maybe that's not a good car but the best car to do it on but you know a genuine TRF 201 in my opinion this is made for it same as the TRF 503 I have so yeah I'm, I'm made up um, Craig if you're watching your painting skills are amazing my friend I'll put Craig's contact email in the description guys if you're in the UK the guy does superb work um, I don't know how many shells he's done for me now he did the TRF egress but with a yellow he's done that one he's done obviously my TRF 503 now he's done the 201 I've also got the super astute done and as we speak right now he's doing he's in the middle of doing my dinosaur 
body and after that he's got my top force to do so uh, yeah we're keeping him busy but yeah prices are amazing if you if you're into your bodies and you know again he's, he's not he's not a professional painter he's doing this as a hobby um but um i kind of wonder if we can uh, make craig go full time i think we might be able to anyway i'll i'll shut up i'm gonna go away and stare at this now um i've got what, what i've never mentioned for this is uh, i've just bought some brushed brand new brush mortars and um I'm thinking of putting the, um, what is it, LRP V10 in. I've got a 14 double, um, quite a blingy blue mortar, which will go in there nicely. Um, 14 double, that'll be quick enough for this car, I think. Um, and I've got a, what have I got? Oh my God, the SV mortar. I've got an Orion SV, which is a 13 triple. That's going to go in the Super Astute, and I've bought the Yokomo Zero T5. That's a 10 turn brush motor, um, and that's going to go in the Top Force. That's going to have some uh, serious bite. Anyway, that's all for the future. So, guys, as always, thanks so much for watching. It's really appreciated. If you are new to this channel, if you could please consider liking and subscribing to support us. And if you do that, smash that notification bell for our weekly videos. And as always, guys. Happy ass seeing.